Yo, what up, what it is, what it do, this is your favorite cousin, and I'm back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. Happy freaking Friday, my loves. Drop the beat. Drop it. Oh, 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 I can't dance, but I'm here. Oh, but I'm, oh, hey, we made it through the week. But I'm, I said we made it. Happy freaking Friday. Y'all already know this. Your favorite cousin was back with another banker. Late again. Don't worry about it. Monday we're gonna try to get this thing under control. Like, probably won't. Anyway, now, what we have prepared before us is some sea food. You know I got to eat crawfish once a week, ain't you? You know it. You know it. Let's see. What we got? Crawfish, snow crabs, king crabs, blue crabs, and a lobster tail, and a little corn. I got me some good old oranges down here. Can y'all see my oranges? Hit them with a little bit of got some oranges down there, girl. Look at my presentation today. I said, Wow, got some oranges down there because I heard it's good with it. And back here, I just got me a little butter. Oh, that's hot. I got me a little butter sauce from their restaurant, and you already know I got the Lando Lakes on the, the best. Now, I'm not gonna be saying now all day. I know, catch a breath, bitch. Calm down, everything is okay. God got you. Relax, just chill, just chill, just chill. All right. Girl, because you know I go from not from, from zero to 100 real quick. It's not water. It's Friday. Because use your imagination on what you think is in this cup today. It is Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, let's go ahead and get to this prayer so we can go ahead and get into this bite. Bow it. Bow it. Bow it. If you are new to this channel and you are just tuning in to your favorite because of, we bow it around here. Unless you are operating a forklift machine or 18 wheeler or driving a heavy vehicle, we bow it. Bow it. God, thank you so much for the blessings that you have stored upon us, Lord God. We just want to give you all the grace, and Lord God, we just want to say thank you so much for getting us through another week. Lord God, we know all the glory that goes to, to you, Lord God. We know that the glory is for you, and Lord God, thank you for letting us just be here today. We, I just ask you just let this food bless and nourish my body, and let my subscribers have a safe and amazing weekend. And Lord God, just keep us protected. In your name I pray, amen. Ting! All right, I got a lot of food back here, I know. Got an appetite. Y'all, and I know y'all been worried about my appetite. We're going to talk about that in a minute. I'm going to say it because I'm going to forget. I know y'all been worried about my appetite, but this is what happiness looks like. Y'all, I've been eating. I remember I prayed for days like this, y'all. So, with that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this bite. I want to start with this lobster first. Yes, I do. Look at that, big baby. Oh, they say I got to do this. Come on, my face. They say I got to cover my face. Is that, that it ain't right? Oh, cover my face. I said, why wow, cover it? It worked, Jay. Let's eat. It works, sis. Thank you, baby. Let's go ahead and get into this bite. Mm -mm. Be right back, cuz. I didn't bring nothing to put my festivities in. Be right back. How I'm looking, cuz. How I'm looking. I know y'all don't like to say y'all don't like the new angle, but I happen to love it. I happen to truly adore this new angle. Here I'm back. Ting! Now, once again, let's go ahead and get to this bite. Let's do it. Thank you to my baby who bought my scissors. Y'all know I'm not good with names, I know. I, you know I'm not good with names. But thank you for my baby who sent me the scissors, I know. You know I need them. I don't even need them for the lobster. Let's do it. I took a chance with this white shirt, didn't I? I can't wear this. I can't wear this white shirt, cuz. No, I cannot. Look, I already got something on it. Let me go change my outfit. Let me go change my wardrobe, cuz. Be right back. I can't never get it together, can I, cuz? Got my new shirt on. If you wonder why I changed shirts, I had on a white shirt. That wasn't the greatest idea. Now, for the million time, let's get into this bite. Wow. Wow. Okay. I said, wow. Wow. Come on my face. Cover it. Oh, hit him with a little moto. <laughs> let's see. Now, what's that black stuff? I know. They said, well, I'm fit to eat it. That's good. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
If you hear somebody breathing, that's my dog. I can't let him out of my eyesight. I got to tell y'all what happened to him. You know, I got the crawl dance. Like, you see him? Yes, you do. I got to tell y'all what happened to my dog. Eat a little bit. Talk to you in a minute. What no juice in there? Just how I love them. Yes, they are. a meal fit for a queen it is i'm gonna be all over the place huh you know what you know what i want to try let me put a little bit of what <laughs> my orange left on the is it there you okay baby you okay hmm okay y'all gotta keep a close eye on my dog i'm gonna show y'all what happened in a minute this is what i really want to try this little lobster. I want some of this right here. On it. With the orange. I ain't never had like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I crush that black black part. I feel it. y'all this is me a fit for queen it's friday no i did not get paid today so don't come over here talking about cuz got paid cuz did not get paid cuz been saving cuz been saving for this cuz been saving for these festivities yes i have well i'm gonna send one okay maybe i don't know if these is fit for these I just don't know. It ain't working. Out. It's not working. I can make it shake though. We okay. Just to get the meat out at least. from a restaurant. I don't like the way they do their king crabs. I don't like it. When do you like when when? Some food. Enjoy it. So they cut them up. See how they cut them up? Well, I just cut that piece up, but they cut them up. So you don't eat on just My dog is literally under my chair right now. But anyway, they cut them up like this. And let them tell it this was a, I just wanted a half a pound because I knew this was going to be too much food. But I don't really like the way they cut them up. But it's cool. I like them long. Like, you know how like like the big the big presentation? I like them long because they make me feel like I got money. Because I be seeing everybody else king crabs long. Everybody else king crabs be long. And I be like, girl, they got money. They got it. They have it. They have it. They cut mine up today, cuz. Don't worry about it. No, let me hit them with a little bit of. <laughs> Girl, it never gets old. That never gets old. Wow. That king crab. Don't never get old. Y'all know I can't afford these on a regular basis. I I cannot. I don't eat these every day. No, I don't. This is a delicacy. I can't afford these every day. <laughs> but God said, go ahead and get you some today, sis. I said, Lord, today? He said, yes, go get you some, sis. I said, back. <laughs> I pulled up. Pulled up. I don't 
mouth is just stained. I just got them stained. I don't know. Not bad though. They good. Salty. Mm, right. Let's see. Good spicy. It's corn not fresh. I know it's not. It's not hitting right. But it'll do. Now that's the way. You ain't got to eat like that. Let's see. It. He had a little tussle. He missing a claw right now. Oh, that's a good little picture right there. I said, wow, look at me. Wow. Girl, I thought I had money. <laughs> I ain't got it. Take care of me doing all that. That's a little fishy. Let's see. That tastes fishy. Seafood not supposed to taste fishy, cuz. No, it's not. That one tasted fishy. Tastes a little fishy. That went normal. Tastes a little too fishy, but got the snow. We got them. Yes, we do. We got them. So what's y'all, like, what's y'all favorite seafood? Like, my favorite seafood was something that I could eat, like, every day. Would probably be crawfish and snow crabs. Like, I could eat crawfish and snow crabs every day. Excuse me, especially crawfish. If I had to pick one, it would be crawfish. I need to give me some more oranges. I like the oranges. If I had to pick one, it would definitely be crawfish every day. Hitting that wall. Now, add a little bit. Add a lot, actually. I feel like it. Now, let's go ahead and 
into this conversation. Cause all jokes aside, this is not a test. This is not a joke. Girl, I almost lost my dog yesterday. I, I thought he did. I thought he croaked over on me. Yes, I did. So he was just sitting in the backyard, like in a daze. Like he was just in a daze, and he was just sitting there for like three freaking hours. I was just like, what the heck is wrong with my dog? Like, it was like literally, I'm not going to go into details about, you know what I'm saying, what was going on, but it was like literally watching my best friend die. Like, I was literally watching my best friend die. And there was nothing I could do. And I was calling the vet. And I was like, call him because it was like, it was like 5 o'clock and all of them were closing. And I was like, somebody got to come get my dog. Animal control wouldn't come get him. Nobody would come get him. He was like growling at me. So I was like, what the heck is wrong with my dog? Y'all, for three hours, my dog sat in that backyard. Literally in the same spot. So I was thinking maybe he got bit. Y'all, so I called Fanny. Because girl, Fanny know everything, don't she? Fanny know everything. I called Fanny and I'm like, Fanny, my dog is dying. I knew once I talked to Fanny, I was going to bust out crying. Let's see So I was talking to Fanny and I just broke down crying. Girl, I lost it. I don't think I've ever prayed or cried so hard in my freaking life. Cause y'all, I don't have my dog for like two years. Like literally, I've had my dog two years. Like I've had him since he was eight weeks. And so she called her brother, her, her brother-in-law. And she was like, um, telling him what was going on. So he called me and he was like, go get the dog some Pedialyte. And some um Pepto Bismarck. I was like, I was like, what the hell? But then I did it. So I come back home, y'all. And I'm on FaceTime with Benny. And I check on him in the backyard. And he's still sitting there. And it was like he was paralyzed. And so he's looking at me, but he couldn't move. So I'm like, what the hell? So Benny was like, let me see him. Let me see how he looks. So I turned the face, the phone towards him, to her to see. And I was like, I said, Nico. And he looked at me. And then he just ran to me like a normal dog. Y'all, when my dog ran to me, when my dog ran to me, y'all, I cried like a baby. I cried like a baby. I was just like, if you don't believe that God is real, that was like a freaking, it was like a freaking miracle, y'all. Like, I can't even explain it. I can't even explain what happened, man. I can't. It was like, man, he's okay. Everything's checked out. Everything's good. Like, he's okay. So now, like, I took him to work with me last night. It's that lobster, y'all. I took him to work with me last night. Because, y'all know, I work over, oh, I'm 24 hours, so I worked last night. I went to work at 1 a.m. I haven't been, really been asleep. Um, That's why my video's really been late. But, um, I took him to work with me last night. I was like, he's, he's not, I'm not letting him out my eye. No. So he's been with his mommy all day. Because it's just been me and him. Girl, the frat house is in Mississippi. I told y'all that. Girl, the frat house is gone. They gone. They gone. They in Mississippi. They been in Mississippi since Tuesday, aren't they? This has been me and Nico. Girl, I've been around this mother miserable and sick. Bored. I've been bored. <laughs> I've been bored, cuz. It's a hell. I've been bored. Frat house is in Mississippi. So, I went back to my dog. Cause like when I'm recording and doing YouTube and I'm working, I work a full-time job. I do YouTube. I do uh I do Instagram videos. So like I'm really replying to if I'm not recording, I'm replying to comments. And so what was that? Hmm? If I'm not recording, I'm always doing something. That's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Either for my job or for YouTube. So I'm always so Taja. That's better. So Taja always take care of Nico because he don't like Kish. Kish is Gemini. I thought I told you that I know. Matter of fact, speaking of Kish. Tomorrow her birthday. Happy birthday. To my favorite Gemini, to my favorite cousin, Kish. If you are watching this, I know she's not watching. Kish, I know you don't watch my show, and it's okay. 
I know she don't. Anyway, Kish, happy freaking birthday, my love. Happy freaking birthday. But anyway, I've been in. So Todd just takes care of Nico most of the time. Now when I'm working, or I'm gone, or you know what I mean, if I'm out of town, he'll stay here with Taja. So it's just been me and him. Yeah, I thought I lost my dog yesterday. I swear, y'all, I was just like, I cried. I don't, that's why I probably so chill today, y'all, because I'm like, man, I'm not over it. I'm not over it. And you know what? I respect every mother who has a freaking child because yesterday was a day I realized I've been knew I love my dog. But, man, yesterday was the day that I realized what mothers go through when you hear that your child cry. And it's not like a, a normal, you know your child's attention cry. Or your child's attention whine. That wasn't a normal cry. So, much respect to all parents who, um, man, who have kids. Yesterday, I, I, I realized our dogs are freaking kids. That's, probably, that's why I'm so chill today, y'all. I've just been like, I've been up. I didn't go to sleep last night before work. Because I was like, man, I really don't want to, I really don't want to go sleep with my dog. Like, I don't. Sorry guys, I get a little carried away. I didn't want to go to sleep on my dog. So like I'm really exhausted. I'm really tired. But man, if you shout out to all my fur baby mamas. I ain't gonna sleep in like I probably am gonna sleep in like 36 hours because excuse me. I just keep an eye on my dog. I don't know if y'all ever seen my dog. He's right here though. But yeah, that was like the scariest moment of my life, man. That was scary. So after this, after I upload this and record this, I'm going to bed. And that's another reason why I'm late on comments, too. That's another reason why I'm not ADHD today, y'all. I'm exhausted. I'm behind on comments. I'm exhausted. But I won't complain on anything for my dog. Hey, handsome face. Hey, handsome. Anything for my dog, man. They literally become a part of your life. Like, they literally become a part of your life. being chilled I know some fool how long is this video girl this video long as hell anyway speaking of being chill so I had went out with some friends I know and I was just like so like when I'm in my zone like I'm real chill like in person I'm like ADHD when I want to be ADHD but for the most part I'm real chill so I was sitting in the cut, just chilling, you know what I'm saying, with a drink in my hand, having, having casual conversation, because I'm borderline genius. I'm borderline genius. <laughs> I'm borderline genius. I'm just dingy. I, <laughs> wow, yes I am. So I was just sit, sitting in the cut, you know what I'm saying, minding my own business, and somebody said, uh, what's up, cuz up? And I was like, you know, what's up, what, what it is, what to do? It was like, you real chill in person. Real chill in person? I said, what you want me to do, perform? What you want me to do, a backflip? What you want me to do? I said, I'm not no damn circus. I don't, you're not fit to be using me for entertainment purposes. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm like, damn, what you want me to do? Mm. I'm like really chilling person. Like, I'm not, I'm hyper. Oh, don't get me wrong, girl. I'm hyper. I'm yelling again. They said I was yelling in my last video. I be forgetting I got that mic. <laughs> I be forgetting I got, I upgraded. I ain't got it. I don't. But it was like you real chilling person. I was like, what the hell you want me to do? Hell, what you want me to move on? What you want me to do? You want me to bobby brown? I'm not spit. You want me to bobby brown on them? What you want me to do? I'm not gonna do this with you. I'm chill. Like I'm cuz. Like I'm chill. Wow. If they do it, a little spicy. Something in my corn. A little booty for my corn. If they know what kids went through on a regular day basis, when my little aggravate itself, they want me to be chill too. Yes, it do. Nah. Oh. What in the face? Let me look at it. How long is this video? Wow. Well. So I was watching. You know I always watch mukbangs to get my appetite together. 
I always watch people's mukbangs. Even if I don't comment on your video, I watch I watch a lot of videos to get my appetite right. I just don't comment. But um, anyway, I was watching Tosh Point Rose video this morning. <laughs> hey Tosh. <laughs> hey Tosh. <laughs> this one look corny way. Hey Tosh. <laughs> y'all, that's why I don't go on dates. That's why I don't go on dates, y'all. That's why I don't go on dates. I'm corny. I'm corny as hell. That's me at the mirror. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and you'll be like, what the hell does this dude just do? Just me. <laughs> hey, I'm goofy in real life. That's how I'm going on dates. Anyway, I was watching Tosh this morning, and she was saying, it was your carpet video. And, um, She was just basically like, um, whatever happens to you was bought on you by you. So basically saying it was your fault. And at first I was just like, now, Tosh is a pretty sweet girl. Like, she, she, she is. She's adorable. She's a pretty sweet girl. I was like, what? How did my fault? That booboo -boo -boo. And I was just thinking about it. So, I went on about my day. I was uh, taking a shower. And I was just really thinking about that. And she was just basically saying how whatever happens to you is your fault. And so, I was just, I'm, I got to touch my white hat. Yep, I did it. That's why I can't keep nothing clean. I know. I don't know. So anyway, basically, she was just saying that, um, you know, you are in control of your future. You are in control of your destiny. So I took, went and took a shower, and I was, like, dwelling on it. And I was just like, damn, you know, it's harsh, but she's right. We're, we're in control of, you know, what happens to us. Like, for example, like, um, okay. Excuse me. Like, for example, you're in a toxic relationship, right? And... This person is toxic. You know this person is toxic. And all of a sudden, something pops off and let's just say you go to jail. Whose fault is that? Are you going to blame them? Because they got... Girl, ain't nobody told me the camera cut off. Ain't nobody told me that. Anyway, you going to blame yourself because you got put in jail? Or are you going to are you gonna blame... No, are you going to blame them because you got put in jail? Or are you going to blame... I didn't know the camera cut off at 30 minutes, so I didn't. Or are you going to blame yourself and take responsibility for knowing that this person was toxic and now you're in jail? You know what I mean? Because lately I've just been working on um, accountability. I've been working on my accountability for myself because I believe that I'm at a point to where I believe that... I'm about to go because it's clearly this video camera on Donnie. No, it's just 30 minutes. I believe that he who angers you controls you. I'm a firm believer in that. And I don't want anybody to have that much control over my life to think they got one up on me. So now I'm really learning to be a better judge at the decisions that I make and how I react to people. You know what I mean? As far as like people being rude to me or getting negative comments or getting dislikes and just changing my perspective on it and just be like, everybody's not going to be your cup of tea. Everybody's not going to be your cup of tea. Uh, some people like milk. If you like me, you like a sweet adult beverage sometimes, don't you? You know what I mean? So you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But I said that to say this. Um, work on accountability and taking responsibility for your actions. It's not as far as, okay, well, he did this to me, so I. But just taking accountability for your actions to say, I'm still with this toxic person. I'm still living in this house with this negative person. I'm still living in this house with this person who mentally, physically, emotionally abuses me. I got to get out. I it's I think happiness is a choice. We choose to be happy. We choose to be happy because life is going to happen no matter how you think you control it, how you think you can do this, how you can do this, do this, do this. And everything isn't always the devil's fault. Sometimes that's God getting us uncomfortable so that we have no choice but to move. So stop blaming everything on, oh, the devil is busy or blah, 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 or whatever the case may be and take accountability and say, hey, the reason I'm not happy is because I decided not to be happy. Life is going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. Um, we're going to be broke. We're going to be sad. We're going to be mad. Life is going to happen. You know what I mean? We're not going to always have money. We're not going to always have the person that we thought would be there for us there. People are human. And just start taking accountability for your actions and the, and the decisions that you make. And understand that I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. And I said that to say this. Ashley chooses to be happy. 
So when you see me eating now, it's because I made a choice to be happy. And I remember praying for days like this, to be happy. But I just believe that it's all about speaking it into existence, speaking it into the universe. You know, you wake up and tell yourself you're beautiful. You wake up and tell yourself it's going to be an amazing day. You wake up and tell yourself nobody's going to have that much control over me today to do to me what they want to do to me. And that's just where I'm at in life. I hope that uh, this video wasn't too long for you and you guys caught the end. Um, man, God is amazing. I remember praying for days like this. I'm fit to get up out of here. I ate enough, I know. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking weekend. I might go live later. I don't know. If you caught the end of this video and you want me to go live, uh, give me a, uh, put me a horse in the comments. No, 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 no horse. No horse, because that reminds me of Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, put me, just put me a red heart in the comments if you want me to go live after this video. And we'll figure this thing out. Anyway, y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what to do. Have a safe, amazing weekend. Don't drink and drive. Catch an Uber. Nothing is worth your happiness. Remember that. Choose happiness today. You already know what it is. You already know what to do. God is love. And don't forget to drink a beer for me. This is your favorite cousin. Let's get it. Because I had corn in my teeth. I couldn't run this around. I'm going to go. All right. Love you.